The most coveted verdict in the country, the Ayodhya verdict is out and there were lots of questions about law and order. Let's take it to the man who has been monitoring the situation here in UP directly. Uh, thank you so much for speaking with NDTV, sir. Firstly, just want to understand from you, so far there has been peace. Can you yeah. give our viewers a quick update on what's been the situation all across the state so far? The situation has been absolutely peaceful everywhere. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, for the past one month, yeah. UP police has been uh, conducting extensive public outreach yeah. and building confidence among pe uh, people yeah. that uh, we are here for your safety and security and then uh, various measures have been taken. Yeah. I believe uh, they are bearing fruit and then uh, situation, we, I'm very confident that is going to be so, normal. So no police. unrest reported in all of UP so far as we speak? No, no unrest has been reported and mm. uh, uh, we have uh, sufficient uh, feet on ground. Mm. Not only that, mm. uh, because of the homework we have done, mm. we are getting cooperation from the public right. and uh, raise the confidence of the public mm. so that uh, if uh, any even smallest of the small thing happens, it's so it yeah it's it reaches us hmm. and uh, within few minutes hmm. You're able uh, to yeah we are strategically positioned people. I just see, uh, quickly yeah. want to tell our viewers as well that there is a headquarters at the 112 control room which has been set up which is monitoring all the eight districts of UP. There is a live connectivity over there and all the reports are being uh, coming in as well. One major aspect, sir, of worry this time around was social media. How will you be able to clamp down on any inflammatory comments or some fake news which could have been circulated online? What's the status on that? Yeah. Firstly, there are 75 districts uh, of UP which mm. are divided into eight, eight zones. zones. Eight yeah. zones, right? Yeah. So, uh, in addition to the uh, steps being uh, taken in the physical world, mm. so uh, we have significantly improved our capabilities uh, to counter the hate uh, spe speeches and uh, rumor mongering on mm. the. Have you uh, managed to take any action so far? Yeah, we have. Firstly, uh, we have uh, uh, 75 district uh, level mm. social monitoring media monitoring teams okay. working uh, around the clock okay. uh, in the recent past and we have a headquarter team hmm. and uh, we have where we have a dedicated manpower hmm. so as a result uh, we have been uh, successful hmm. in uh, reaching to the people behind the posts so and then there is uh, a one social media team per district just yes. looking into the activities of that district that's only correct. the social media activities of the that's district correct. that's okay. correct okay. so uh, as a result, uh, every day we have been reporting uh, mm. hundreds of uh, such uh, uh, posts uh, mm. which are being taken down mm. and also in aggravated cases mm. uh, where the post uh, amounts to an offence, mm. punishable offence and, um, mm. offense under various sections of law. Mm. Uh, we have also been registering FIRs. How so many far, so far? So far 76 FIRs have been uh, registered mm. in various districts of the state. That's in the past 24 hours? No, no, not into the past 24 hours mm. and uh, past about 10, 15 days. Okay. So where this uh, high, uh, activity mm. uh, is being monitored very closely and we continue mm. to do that. And I'll be, I'm happy to say that uh, in the past, there is a definite visible trend of uh, this, uh, these messages tapering down. Mm. And then uh, in the past 24 also, uh, for mm. also, then not been mm. m uh, many messages mm. uh, which... Uh, earlier used to, used be. to be so that uh, you see more sensitivity over there yes, yes. so how long will this precautionary measure of the delhi of the up police beg your pardon really last now we understand that the coming few days also need to be watched out for for how long will we see these uh, precautionary measures being taken some areas we understand have section 144 in place already several places in up at least so how long will that continue see and uh, short term next three four days are important and, and yeah. uh, in the medium term uh, this month is going to be important and uh, up to let us say 15th of december but uh, uh, the question is uh, the important point is uh, the work hmm. which went in in the past one month that's more fruit yeah that bore fruit and then uh, that uh, uh, the, on, a, on a sustainable manner, hmm. so hmm. public outreach hmm. and building the confidence, hmm. which I believe that hmm. uh, our uh, fo force uh, people themselves hmm. are our force multipliers. Hmm. We have established various volunteer groups. We have S10. We have a platform uh, which we call C Plan app, hmm. and uh, we have a uh, as I just told you, hmm. digital volunteers, thousands volunteers. of them. Right. So. 
down on all levels. Yes. Right. So, 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 uh, together, uh, uh, police and uh, good people from all walks of the society, hmm. together we hope to maintain peace. All Thank right. you.